Hello everyone and welcome to Module 4, Business Management in the Circular Furniture Industry. My name is Sokali Nicoleta and I'm a researcher at the University of Vasa, School of Marketing and Communication. I'm one of the trainers of Fern360, a European program aiming at developing and delivering new knowledge on circular economy for furniture and woodworking sectors. In this module, we will discuss about tools and applications that are currently used to promote sustainability in the circular furniture industry. This module consists of two units, creating and managing circular value networks and entrepreneurship for circular economy. The first unit, creating and managing circular value networks. In this unit, we improve your understanding regarding the role of networks in creating circular economy business models. First, we present the concept of network and define it against the traditional ways to organize economic activities, market transactions and hierarchy. We continue by describing how value is created in networks that companies establish with their strategic partners to get access to shared resources, skills and capabilities. We introduce a tool labeled Value System Continuum and apply it in circular economy related business networks. Finally, we provide a framework for describing the different types of business networks and the management mechanism for them. The second unit, Entrepreneurship for Circular Economy. In this unit, we look at tools to develop business and new value propositions from opportunities presented by transition towards the circular economy. This unit is developed around seven distinct lessons. Entrepreneurship, a complex concept, entrepreneurship and circular economy, entrepreneurial motivation, entrepreneurial skills, entrepreneurial mindset, entrepreneurial challenges and drivers, and the last one, entrepreneurial tools. Lesson one introduces the concept of entrepreneurship, explaining why it is such a complex idea. Entrepreneurship is not limited to one specific culture, country, religion or industry. Different types of entrepreneurs are presented. In addition to being applied to individuals, we can also identify organizations that can be seen as entrepreneurial because of the way they do business and how they are planning to grow. Lesson 2 discusses how transition to a circular economy can represent an excellent entrepreneurial opportunity and how the entrepreneurs can contribute to solving environmental problems. Lesson 3 describes the entrepreneurial motivation, focusing on ecopreneurs and different types of ecopreneurs, depending on the interplay between individual motivations and the broader economic and social context. Lesson 4 explains why entrepreneurial skills are important in order to have a successful business. Some of these entrepreneurial skills include social skills and bricolage skills. Lesson 5 presents the characteristic of an entrepreneurial mindset. The distinction between causal and effectual reasoning is also discussed. The effectuation process and its principles are introduced. Lesson 6 discusses some of the challenges and drivers faced by entrepreneurs when starting a business. The case studies reflect specific barriers and drivers faced by companies operating in the furniture sector. Lesson 7 presents different entrepreneurial tools. It explains what a business plan is and how it can be a useful instrument for an entrepreneur. Circular brainstorming, concept selection and identifying circular opportunities are also discussed. The module 4 is comprised of different slide decks, short videos, infographics and additional reading material. It takes about 10 hours to complete this module. At the end of the module, you will be asked to take a short test in order to validate the learnings. But now, let's get started. Welcome to FERN 360, module 4.